New developments tonight on a crash that killed a woman as she crossed the street. Prosecutors say the driver of the van that hit her near downtown Spokane knew his brakes were not working properly and drove the vehicle anyway. KXY 4's Caroline Rourke working for you tonight. And Caroline, the suspect, Michael Lucy, didn't deny it? That's right, Nadine. Court documents say that Lucy actually told police on scene that he'd known about his malfunctioning brakes for at least two weeks. It's that fact that put him in jail, and it's a testimony given today that, in part, kept him there. As soon as Michael Lucy's van hit the woman as she crossed the street, other drivers and witnesses ran to help her. We tried to remove her from the vehicle with a jack from another vehicle. The vehicle started to move. I, at that point, determined for safety reasons not to continue that operation until we could get the proper equipment out, and that's when the fire department started to show up on scene. Lucy immediately pointed to his car, saying it hadn't been working. From what I gathered, when he got out of the vehicle, he said he didn't have brake control. Not only did he not have control of his brakes, court documents say he knew about it. For at least two weeks, Lucy was aware his brakes were not working properly, even using brake fluid to try and fix the issue. That's why he's facing the vehicular homicide charge. Not because he intended to kill a pedestrian, but because he knew about a problem that could have prevented the accident from happening in the first place. In court today, Lucy asked the judge to release him on pretrial monitoring so he could go home and care for his dogs. Problem is, he doesn't really have a home to go to. Michael Shaw said he came to court today to do the right thing. He's known Lucy for about five years from their work together at the Guardian Foundation for Veterans. He calls him a friend. That foundation operates the building Lucy called home until last month. Shaw stepped up to tell the court today that Lucy was given notice to vacate in July for a series of nuisance behaviors that had been reported. Shaw told the judge that he, quote, certainly didn't want to cause any more issues for Mr. Lucy, end quote. But he also didn't want the court to release him for fear he wouldn't show up to his arraignment next week or cause more issues to the residents at the home that he lived in. Lucy's bond was set at $25,000 today. He's not allowed to operate a motor vehicle or contact the family of the woman he killed. The medical examiner has not released her identity yet. Reporting in studio, Caroline Rourke, KXOI 4 News. Thank you, Caroline.